Hello, my YouTube family. Well, it was a very sad weekend, and I believe we're all cut up, caught up on the news now that um, Whitney Houston passed away. And seeing that I have to be in the reception area with nothing but CNN on all day, that is all they had. But see, here's the thing. If there's nothing new to report, why do you still keep saying there's breaking news? So there's breaking news to tell me that there's nothing new to report. CNN drove me insane today. Every half an hour. We have breaking news. We have breaking news. There's an update. On no, there isn't. No, there isn't. The coroner stated that the toxicology report will not come back for another six to eight weeks. What don't you understand? You won't know anything new for another six to eight weeks. Oh, there's speculation that she drowned in her tub. And oh, there's speculation that she was drinking. And oh, you can speculate until the sun comes up and down and then disappears. Until the toxicology report comes back within another six to eight weeks. There's nothing new to report. So stop talking about breaking news, breaking news when there really isn't any. I had to just vent that out because I had to deal with that all damn day to the point where I just had to mute the damn thing because I was, I was tired. I was just tired. I was just tired. I mean, I loved Whitney Houston. I was a fan of Whitney Houston. Her voice was the voice. There's no doubt about it. From my generation, like this generation's voice might be Beyonce or Lady Gaga or whoever. My generation, the voice, nothing but Whitney Houston. That's all I'm saying. But she has passed away at a much too early age because she died at 48 and I'm going to be 48 this year. So... It's just, you know, kind of surreal for me to, 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 to see that she's dead. Like, how the hell? And the same thing happened with Michael Jackson. Um, there are certain people that just should not be dead. At least not right now. He's one of them. And she was another. Like, it, it, I can't wrap my head around it because they are technically not supposed to be dead. Yes, if you cut them, they bleed and they're human beings. I get it. I get it. But they were such mega stars that it goes beyond humanity at that point. They, they were put on such a pedestal that they became untouchable. They became, you know, just these beings that were multi-talented and just should not be dead. Like dead and their names should not coincide until they reached about 110. And then, okay, well, you know, maybe it's time to die at 110. But at 48, Whitney, at what, 53, I think Michael Jackson was? They're not supposed to be dead. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. And that was my entire day just listening to CNN all damn day to the point where I was posting on their Facebook, like, enough is enough already. Give it up. You have nothing new. Stop saying you have something new when you have nothing new. Okay, I wanted to vent that out. But you see, I'm wearing black today, right? And I'm all in black. I wanted to show you because you can't really see it from here. Well, if I move it back. You see this? This is what I call my little Titanic, um, not emblem, but uh, pendant. This is my Titanic pendant. It's... It's a miniature size, obviously. But this is my Titanic pendant. So I, I always wear it with my black because it's just... I just wanted to share. Okay, I know y'all want to hear lips of the day. Okay, lips of the day. Let's just get on with it. I am happy, and then I'm not so much. Let's start with the happy. Let's start with the happy. Let's start with happy. The happy is, this shade is great. Can I just say, shade is happening. I'm working this shade, if I may say so myself. The shade is two things. CoverGirl Queen Collection. Queen Collection. And this is Beauty Bling, which looks like divine. 
This is beauty bling, y'all. Beauty bling. And it is a beauty. It is a beauty. I love this shade. Wonderful. But what is giving it that shine, you may ask? Well, I'll let you know. Hold on. My Milani 3D Glitzy Gloss in... Can y'all see that, Fashion Diva? Y'all can't see that. Well, you know, it's Fashion Diva. I tried, people. I tried. Fashion Diva. This is this matched with this. So I use it as a topper. There you go. It needs a topper. This needs a topper. Now for the not so happy part. It has shimmer. Gritty is all damn hell. Gritty, gritty. I'm going to swatch and you're probably going to be able to see. This is what it looks like, people. Now you can see, you see the shimmers and the little chunks of glitter? You see that? Little chunks of glitter. And you can feel the little chunks of glitter when you mm, like that? Yes. So the gloss softens the grit of the glitter on the lipstick. Plus it gives it a nice shine. Not happy with the grit. Not working with the grit. No. Not, not, mm -mm, not working with that. I lined my lips with Purple Rain NYX. NYX. Purple Rain. So there you have it, people. That is lips of the day. Um, no work stories other than what I just told you about. Um, it, it, it really is an unfortunate situation that we lost a talent. It really is. I'm just wiping off the, the lipstick on my, the back of my hand. Um, what, what can I say? What can I say? Um, you know, I grew up with her in the 80s. And, you know, she is part of my generation. And it's, it's really sad to see. It's really, really terribly, awfully sad to see. You know, the later part, the, the latter part of her life, it seemed like she was trying to get a comeback going. And I think she had just wrapped up a movie, Sparkle. And she was on the verge of, I guess, beginning Waiting to Exhale Part 2. And it looks like, unfortunately, we're not going to see that unless they replace her. And I don't think that would be a good idea. I personally don't think it would be a good idea to try to replace her. She's irreplaceable. So let's just call that project null and void um so that's just basically it it was a sad sad weekend and i was obviously late to the game of finding out the news because all saturday pretty much all saturday i was wrapped up on youtube i was wrapped up in youtube like nobody's business and i was doing all sorts of searching all sorts of watching all sorts and I got tired because I have to sit on this chair and it gets hard on my butt every now and then when you sit on it too long. So I got tired, got up, and I went to go make some lunch, turned on the television, and I saw something at the end of a news broadcast, just the very tail end of it. And we will miss Whitney Houston. Or, or Whitney Houston will no longer be with us. So I didn't put two and two together as she had passed away. I'm thinking she's no longer going to be with us. So what, she's moving to Europe? Or is she just not coming back? Or she did not. I'm talking about it did not sink in. Did not sink in. So I immediately came back on the internet. And that's how I found out. And I was like, wow. Um, you need to unplug from the, the computer every now and then, Nance, and see what's going out in the real world. I mean, it had, it had, the news had hit early. And I was late to the game. Late to the game. But... You know what? This is a game that I really wish I was not a part of, oh, you know, but it is what it is. There's some serious music going on in heaven right now. Let me tell you, Etta James, Michael Jackson, Don Cornelius must be doing the, you know, 
going down the soul train. Too many already, people. It's only February of 2012. Too many talents have already been taken away. I don't know how 2012 is going to end because there's already a handful. Gone. Why? There's the question. The ever, ever unanswered question, why? And on that note, I am going to leave you. Why? Because it's the end of Lips of the Day. It's the end of Monday. And I hope everybody had a good one. I know I did. And that's just that, people. I'm going to max, relax, and have a good night, hopefully. And uh, let me know what you think about these. I love it, but I'm not too crazy about the formulation of the lipstick. Gritty, and I am not a happy camper when it comes to gritty lips. That's a no-no, a big no-no. So as far as the queen and beauty, um, yeah, Berry Bling, excuse me, not Beauty Bling, Berry Bling. Berry Bling is concerned. Mm. Go back to the drawing board as far as, the, as as far as the formulation goes. Back to the drawing board. But once it's topped, thank you, Fashion Diva. That's all I can say. And on that note, I love my YouTube family. I hope you have a safe and happy and warm Monday night. And I will see you tomorrow. That's just that. You know I love you. Hit me up, let me know what you think, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.